everybody, it's me, Emmy, and I'm back with another cheer video for you guys. I've already done two videos on toe touches, and I've also done a cheer tryouts tips video. So I'll be sure to link all of those down below so you can check them out after watching this video. Today we're going to be talking about the hurdler jump. Um, I think hurdlers are the easiest jump and cheer to learn, so I'm pretty excited to be talking about this one. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could maybe subscribe to my channel and like this video to let me know that it was helpful. Also, comment down below if you guys have any tryouts coming up. I'm wishing you all the best luck. All right, let's get right into it. I thought I'd start this video off by walking you guys through my warm-up slash workout routine for hurdler jumps. Obviously, you don't want to go into any kind of cheer jump without warming up properly first. Let's jump into it. <laughs> So you should be feeling pretty warm by now. Hopefully that workout really helped you activate the right muscles that we're gonna be using. And now I'm gonna show you guys just a step-by-step -step of how to properly do a hurdler jump. Okay, so to do a hurdler, we're gonna start in a basic prep. I'm sure you know what that is. Chest up, shoulders back and down, hands are in blades at your sides. And this is gonna be your prep, so five, six, seven, eight. And then on one, you're gonna bend your knees, drop into a clasp. Let's practice that. So you're gonna prep, Five, six, seven, eight, one. And when you're dropping into that class, be sure that you're not super far forward or super far backward because then you're not gonna be able to launch up into your jump. So let's try that one more time and then we'll move on. Five, six, seven, eight, one. And as you can see too, legs are together, feet are together. I'm not like out here. <laughs> now once you're in one, you are actually going to pivot slightly to the side, raise up onto your toes, and bring your hands into a steeple. So with the counts, that's gonna look like five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And it's also really important when you're up in that steeple, you're gonna keep your core tucked in nice and tight, knees locked, arms completely straight. Your hands are just a little bit above eye level, maybe like forehead level, we'll put it that way. So let's practice that real quick. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Cool. <laughs> this is just like a toe touch prep basically, except for the little turn part. So once again, once you are up here at two, we are going to swing down, bending our knees again, and your hands are going to switch from a steeple clasp into a crossover. Now some coaches teach you not to cross your arms, so you should do whatever your program is saying. I was taught to cross them, but I know a lot of coaches just tell you to put them next to each other. I'm going to teach you to cross over because that's what I was taught to do. Also, some coaches will have you go into a high V instead of a steeple. So it's really important to just pay attention to what your exact coach or your program wants. I'm just teaching you the way that I learned it. So let's try that one more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. So once you are down in three, just like in a toe touch, our arms are gonna swing back and they're actually gonna swing up into candlesticks. Three, hit, four. And on four, this leg is gonna come Boom, up. And this leg is going to do a little kick. So sometimes the knee is gonna be open, sometimes the knee is gonna be down. 
It just depends on your coach. So let's practice that all together and we'll just do a little mini jump. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. As you can see, once you hit on four, you are actually going to flip down to the front. Like I've said a million times, your coach might want you to finish to the side. I was taught to finish to the front. So you're gonna hit four, and then you drop straight down and straighten back up. Then you're gonna hold four, seven, eight. So let's just put that all together. I'm just gonna do a little mini jump again, and then we'll actually go for it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> And then once you're at six, you're gonna hold seven, eight. Sorry, I didn't hold. <laughs> now that you've got that down, you are warmed up. I think you're pretty much ready to go ahead and try your hurdler. Some little pointers to keep in mind is this leg going up straight is really a kick. Don't think about it as just a jump or else you're not even gonna hit parallel. So you really have to think about kicking this leg, like sweep it out and up. Okay, so I think you're pretty much ready to go for it. Let's go ahead and try our hurdler. Hey y'all, I completely forgot to film an outro and my camera is now dead. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you found it useful or if you learned something today. And like I said before, I will also be linking my other cheer tutorials down below. So you can go ahead and check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.